Hey, what's going on? It is Andy or OP Greenback. Uh, of course, the moment I start, uh, Eliana the Annoying starts hammering away. I'll be showing two different mods. First, Majora's Mask by Mach1391. It is in Bree's home, and no, I don't have anything here because I can't enter Dragon's Reach anymore. It is right on the table here. Um... The fun fact, I happen to know that it counts as a circlet, because I have a mod that lets me have circlets and helmets. I can double task with this mask. Look, I can double task, although it makes it look bad. So let's pull off that Hedge Knight helmet. Pretty sweet. I think for a while I, I should just go around like this. I'll just be the creepy necklace, creepy mask person. So that's just a fun little little mod for uh, any like uh, Zelda fans uh, yeah <laughs> there isn't much else to say it's just a cool little thing to strap to your face uh, the second mod I'll be showing you is bigger and I'll have to go around a bit hopefully I can squeeze into one video uh, I hope to be able to I ain't asked do for longer than 15 percent. minutes videos I should probably test it I, I have a feeling that wouldn't actually notify me because YouTube can be Annoying at times. So the second <laughs> before I start rambling more, the second mod I will be showing is Revelation by Soyuz. That is a uh, S O Y U Z. Uh, it has four weapons at this point. I'm just gonna go away from the lag fires. I'll just stare at this old woman. Hi. So it has four weapons. Uh, first is. Tierfing, which is a uh, presumably one-handed sword at Stendar's Beacon. Here. The second is Durandal, a two-handed sword, which is in the Falkreath Graves. Here. The third is Mortalis, a war axe uh, in the, at the Bloodlet Throne. Here. And fourth is Thunderhammer, a... Uh, Warhammer, I think 40k. A Warhammer reference, hammer thing, uh, Warhammer at Volskyg, here. And don't, you don't need to worry, you don't need to like mark any of those down or anything, because those are going to pop up right before I show you the specifics, and I myself don't know the specifics, so I'm just going to do a bit of a run through and then give you quick glances at where they are. So, I will see you at, uh, Stendar's Beacon in a moment. This is Stendar's Beacon right here. And I will need to go up and talk to this person. I didn't write down his name for the description, but I'll find it out right now. I have no idea what he says or what he asks. It looks like this might be the sword. Hmm. Oh. Dead. Well, it was the one handed. I guess I have to kill him. Sorry, Savar Savarsa. We might as well start with the food Roda. What? Oh. Okay. I guess the I guess the Stendar, the, the the vigilant doesn't care if I kill random people in front of them. His chastity belt key. What? The fuck? <laughs> so, I'm. Okay, so this looks like this is the sword. That's pretty nice. It's, it wouldn't be my... Actually, it might be my first choice. It looks a little simple, but it's I th it's a pretty cool sword. So that was quick. Uh, I will take you to the Falkreath Graves to track down Durandar, Dur Durandal in a moment. See ya. This is at the Falkreath Graveyard in Falkreath, obviously, here. And just for some context, the th thing is right over there. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, I've been trying to find this for quite a while since I wasn't really looking at the ground. It would have been very impressive if, the, if this was stuck into the ground, like standing up. I would be extremely impressed by that. So this is Durandal. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to use this weapon to kill anyone with this weapon. Uh, let's try out Durandal. This is the one I was most excited at just by sight. It looks awesome. Probably use it for 
two minutes and then stop just because uh, I'm not, two handed weapons aren't my piece of cake. But it's awesome. Look at it. Even looks like my arm slightly goes through it or not. But it's awesome. Come on. <laughs> So if I ever, if I get an excuse to kill anybody, I will make sure to use that weapon. Uh, I will see you at the Bloodlet Throne in a moment. Uh, hey, this is Bloodlet Throne here. Um, I'm not going to show myself going through the entire dungeon. I'm just going to show you the specific spot that the axe is so that you can find it. I, I'll, I'll show you back to the main hallway so that you... Don't get confused, because this is a little bit of a side area where you might may not go if you don't actually explore places. So, the axe is right over here. More or less. Donde esta? Might as well do left, so both sword, the sword and the axe are shown. Ooh, it has a skull on it, and some more awesome arrows, like, uh, like, I forget what it's called already, uh, Durendal. Durendal. Yeah, like this dude. So, okay, I'll show you in. So you could either go through this way like I did because I thought I had to, or you could go through this ob obvious open hole that I was stupid enough not to notice. And then there's this area, you know, it, it's... Let's leave it out here. This is a big area, you have to go through here and stuff and things. Then you go down here. Then you go down here. Then you go down here. So there's my guide, uh, let's move on to Thunder Hammer. See you in a second. Hey, uh, this is the Volskaig, uh, here. Um, once you go through pretty much the entire dungeon, you get to these epic stairs. And right up there seems to be some sort of boss whose corpse is here. <laughs> he was presumably sitting in the throne, and the Thunder Hammer is right here. I'm a little annoyed since I spent quite a while getting to it. So look, it's cool and electric and stuff, and someone described it as a mailbox in the comments for the standalone. Uh, this is directly next to Volsky Peak, so if that's a fast travel mark, uh, I don't know. Is it? It does not appear to be so. But I don't know, if you just want to, like put on no clipping and float up here, then you can just take a shortcut and skip all the BS of going through the entire dungeon again, or even if you're just too lazy to do it the first time. So yeah. Oh, look at the dragon priest. You don't need to see me fight him. Goodbye.